Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is crazy. We're talking about Mongrel, Mitro, and Benji Fishy who flipped out on Twitter in anger about being griefed today by Mex and this trio who pushed them three games in a row, which led to Mongrel mid-tournament freaking out on Twitter, guys. He tweeted stuff out like this. In all caps, another effing mech spawns on the same effing griefers again and insta push kill us all with a mech. I'm so effing done. Now again, guys, this was in the middle of the tournament today when they still had multiple games left to play. And throughout this, MMB was sitting in first and second place, but they let the tilt get to them and threw away the tournament. It's unreal. If you guys are excited for this video and you enjoy my content, do me a quick favor. Drop a like on this video. Every like really helps support my channel. So thank you everybody who does do that daily. But now let's jump into it. So today's tournament actually started off perfect for the MMB trio. They dominated game one in route to victory. Let's roll that real quick. Looking at from the perspective here, Kaxi's still in the game. Mitro's gonna get a trap. And oh, it's actually Falcony who is running the high ground. I thought it was Kaxi that entire time. <laughs> My apologies, things got r Then moving on to game two, MMB did really well again, putting them at the top of the leaderboards with 35 points. They had a commanding lead, but then moving into game three, this is where it all started going downhill for the God Tier Trio. And by the way, what happened in game three was not on the mainstream, guys. I had to go on the Fortnite client and get this from the replays. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, you guys saw what happened. The trio came with a the mech. They killed Benji, forcing Mitro and Mongrel to rotate out without good loot and low healing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens next. So Mitro gets sniped on the rotation, and then Mongrel snipes back the guy and kills X8. But unfortunately for him, he cannot pick up that kill. And let's fast forward three minutes later, and this happens to Mongrel. Mongrel gets killed and sniped by the same guy that he just knocked. Unfortunate, but that is the name of the game, and Mongrel didn't take it lightly. This seemed to tilt him. He took to Twitter instantly after that game and said, Brute just insta-killed Benji and effed our third game. Four effing Brutes this game. So Mongrel was tilted, but it wasn't like the tournament was over for them. After game three, they were still sitting in second place with a good chance to win the entire thing. So game four started guys and the same thing happened but way worse the mmb trio got completely outplayed and destroyed by a crazy baiting mech play let's roll it coming I mean, brute oh. this happened before they know it's coming look but they caught it, they caught it this it. time but they he caught it this it. time yep yep see they're prepared they're i mean like, don't get me wrong it's like it is on the minimap and people are like adjusting and using it but at the same time like they're very actively aware they're saying no not again we talked about the two very 
defining factors of the, or like the two limiting weaknesses of the Brutes and how it can kind of get around them in certain circumstances. They're making sure right away, but now look on the backside, look in the mini map. There's a player coming up behind him and that's what happens. They put a flank on him. The Brute was drawing all the attention and then Benji gets picked out. It's Kyrie, Kong and Fremont. This was the team who challenged them last time, just going for broke, trying to throw the top team off and the Brute is now coming in again. Benji gets converted on. Mitro and Mongo, are they just going to opt to disengage and get out of dodge? Some pressure is going over on the Kyrie and that is unfortunate. Not being able to handle it. We talked about it. Sometimes the wrench is the plant and it looks like they're seeking that out to just bring it over there. Two games in a row where Brutes are spawning on the north of that and they're just able to put it to vicious work. I mean, they had eyes on it, right? They were very quickly to identify there is a brute inbound. We need to shut this thing down. But it, it was a ruse. It, it was, was a, a ruse. ruse, right? Like, that's so cool that they use this to draw all the aggro, and then they got the flank, and that's what gave them the edge. But this is still the other two of the most powerful trios. Mitro gets dropped there. That's it. Mongo, and that's Mongo it. They're full. Well. Yep. yep. Mongo went down just before. So, I, I, I think Mongo might have got pinned by Cube Fiend. You think so? My goodness, what an incredible play. I know there's a lot of people in the community who hate the mechs, but seeing it be used in such a unique way is so freaking awesome. Huge credit over to those guys for even having the balls to contest MMB. Props to them. MMB now after this game was definitely tilted, specifically Mongrel, again, taking to Twitter. And that's where we saw that tweet earlier where he just flipped out and dropped the F-bomb hundred times and some of the pro players in this exact tournament with mongrel did not agree with him and he got called out by scaler scaler said this on twitter cry when you have uncontested retail and you get eight launch pads of it wtf and then a response from jmart exactly it's all fun and games when they're rpg and everyone off high ground but the moment someone does something to grief them they cry about it i love this trio but come on whining about that is ridiculous i would love to know what you guys think is mongrel taking this too far by crying on twitter and blaming other things or do you think this was unfair for him the mechs need to be removed and he was getting griefed let me know guys but this was not the end of this situation the same thing happened in game five but this time without a mech mongrel benji fishy and mitro seem to have just gotten outplayed here guys what do you think again unorthodox strategies wait, risky wait, wait. calls oh my god monster. But wait a second we just i literally just reviewed this in the previous game seeing from the twitter angriness coming out of this trio right here because they were taken out they're getting dived on by the squad the squad has come in with different strategy and it looks like they're trying to bring it to him, but there's another trio rotating from the distance. MMB is not getting a free pass today. Squads are not having it, so Mitro making the plays in the low ground here. Karashi Kong and their third is up top. Out comes the shockwave play, beautifully done. It's going to allow them to take that high ground. There's someone nearby. Can Mitro win this fight? We saw him lose the previous battle, falling victim to a trap play indeed, and now he's out of, no, he's out of bills. He gets collapsed on, just showing that Karashi makes the better of him right here. Mongrel still in the running though. Yep, right now that shockwave actually did give them a little bit of space to work with, but left Mitro isolated, right? We've seen in some of the qualifying weeks that shockwave has a huge effect. Benji now, it looks like he's the last alive, does Launching. get some Elim points. He's clutching up right here. He's clutching up. He hit that shot. That Siphon's going to play huge. Can he pop the minis here? The third party has arrived. Another trio's here. Makes a quick edit. Benji is nuts with it. Catches Karashi. That's plays to make here. Mongrel has a timer on his clock, too. This could prove so bad for them ultimately at the end. A pickup from Marcus C and Catcher coming in, adapting their game style early game. And that was it for the MMB trio in game five. They went from having 35 points in the first two games to ending the next next three games total of five games with 30 eight points and going into game six the mmb trio decided they couldn't go retail anymore they decided to drop gotham city with a bunch of other trios and well let's go ahead and roll how the game ended for them games two falcon lee robabs and the vic were staying up there the whole time throughout the day but now have to reclaim their spot the top 10 in contention to the points breakdown it's just 10 points Mongo goes down he actually goes down though Mongo's gonna get taken out there by the smg play very sneaky by tripper and he converts on the Elon, that is not 
what they wanted to happen here as they are fighting in a very weird position. And now the aggro is on. They want this. No. They get the shot on Benji and Benji falls with the big 95. Can Mitro clutch it in the final moments? But he's of course not. It's three shotguns to one right there. And Camo, Harmony, and Pepper probably pushing it. And that was the end of the tournament for MMB. They were so dominant throughout this whole entire event but they let the last four games slip from them, gaining four points. That's one point per game, guys. Definitely a huge collapse after they were in first place at the end of game two. And here's what Mongrel had to say at the end of the tournament. Can't even put words into how frustrated and disappointed I am. Call it griefing or not, back-to-back -back brutes effed us completely. I just want to refresh, forget about this, and get straight into the next tournaments. Benji Fishy had this to say, I feel the exact same as I did straight after the World Cup. No, I could have done better. Some things didn't go our way. On to the next tourney, shrug. And that's it for them, guys. It's unfortunate. As I said earlier, it seems like Tilt kind of ruined the tournament for them. They should have adapted no matter what, in my opinion. But I still would love to know what you guys think. Were they griefed? Or is this just the name of the game? And again, they should have adapted. That is going to be the end of the video, guys. But before you go, real quick, don't forget, G Fuel is 30% off right now. Your entire order. Don't miss out on this crazy deal you can try it for the first time it's a great product use the link down below again 30 percent off the entire order don't worry guys i know i didn't talk about na east today that's because i'm really sick i can't cover more i will make a video tomorrow covering all of na east na west and the other regions also guys if you enjoy my content do me a favor drop a like on this video every like really helps support the channel and also if you love staying updated on everything fortnite don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We upload videos almost every single day. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'm out of here. Peace.